Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss um, clearing of chapter 14, episodes 8, 9, and 10. So if you can see here, um, for my team composition, um, I brought at least one hero corresponding to each Guardian Stone that has to be broken. So you have their Bathory for your Frost, you have their Dorka for your Machine, Gar for your Light, Annie for your fire and Janai for your nature set. You can actually opt for other options here. You can bring Olum um, for for multiple garden stones. You can bring um, you can bring I I Iris for light. You can bring Deva for for machine. You can bring Brook for your uh, fire and you could bring FC Tantalo for your nature set. So the strategy here is actually cre clearing the waves as much as, as fast and as efficient as possible. Most of the mobs here have um, nature, nature garden stones, light and machine. So that uh, works its, its way up to I think up to uh, wave three, but I have to discuss right now um, the the boss because you need to prepare for the boss because the boss has a a headache of a passive and headache of a skill. So one thing to note, um, I, I I would advise you to read the boss's abilities before you make your team comp and your strategy as well but uh, there are two things that sh you should take note okay so in his passive when own health falls below 70 percent from taking damage applies recovery 100 percent of maximum health to self activates once per battle so this is actually a headache because it re uh, he regenerates his health 100 percent once he falls below 70 percent the other one also that you should take note is that he has immune to status effects reduces normal damage received by 65 percent and increases attack at the start of the round by 20 percent so that's a headache as well um in his skills one that you should take note is that the s1 is decreases the maximum health of all enemies by 50 percent especially if you consider you're considering healing but um this won't be much of a factor especially when it comes to episode 9 and 10 because because he's too actually he's too powerful that that you have to make sure that he doesn't hit you or he hits you only once and to be saved by tranquil of battery so we're now here at uh, the wave 3 of episode 8 so Again, the first objective is to clear the mobs at the back. Uh, the boss will will come, will come. The last part in terms of clearing the stage. So for episodes nine and ten, it would be a completely different team build aside from this one because episodes nine and ten only has one wave, which is the boss, ultimately um for episodes 9 and 10 so you have to prepare for him but he's very tough and um, his skills actually improve especially his passive um if you remember that um, um he regenerates so the threshold actually goes goes lower from 30 percent to 50 into 70 percent eventually in episode 10. And also his S1 also improves, so decreases the maximum health of, of enemies. For episode 9, it's going to be at a 90% at, at a 70%. So the rest more or less is the same, including um, damage received by your heroes and the increased attack of the boss at the start of the round. So we're nearing the end of uh, Episode 8 So this this boss is pretty much easy to clear because you need to only at least um, Deal damage of up to 50% than the 
then the 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 episode ends but for episodes 9 and 10 for 9 you have to deal i think around 70 percent and for episode 10 you need to deal 100 for the for the episode to end so if you take note as well um the boss has 10 guardian stones five initially then another five so but for episode 10 you will have 12 guardian stones already so that's six and six so more sto m more stones to break and definitely a different strategy for episodes 9 and 10. we're nearing the end of this one so bathory is going to finish him not really finish him but but give a lot of damage I think the one that finishes him here for episode 8 would be, um, I think it would be Jinai. So next is Bathory. We'll see. It took me quite a while to, to finish episodes 8, 9, and 10. It took me around 2 to 3 hours again. I think I, I, it reached 4, no, no, it only reached 3 hours. Just playtesting different, different lineups, strategies. So it's going to be Garf. It's going to finish him off. So we're off to episode 9. So we finished episode 8. And here are the rewards for that one. We start now with episode 9. So Tai is reunited. Okay, so I'll have a, a overview of the boss's skills. So when own health falls below 50% this time. So he regens back up again to 100%, uh, which is kind of... <laughs> it, it's actually very frustrating. I was really frustrated about this boss. He's too tough and he requires to be broken as soon as possible. So again, if, if you can see here, my team comp is kind, kind of different. I took out Garf, I took, up, I took out Junai. And I took out Annie. I replaced them with Deva and two rats. One rat is um, fire, fire element and the other one is nature. So that I could break um, garden stones according to their element. And plus they break random garden stones. Which is perfect for this stage. Actually, I'm going to put out a video on, on on featuring the rats because they have been very valuable to any campaign that um, a player has to undergo. Um, I'll have an episode or I'll have a, a video out on them. I think after this one to how to build and which one to build. Pretty excited for them. Um, they I, I've already leveled them up. I think three of them up to level 75 and also bless them up to six star so and later for episode 10 you have to equip um fated uh armor and equipment because you need to make sure that they don't break easily by the enemy because if they get broken they will have to you know skip a turn and um that is the key that, the key to winning in episodes 9 and 10 is to make sure that every turn you get to as much as possible uh, perform a skill and make sure that um, you break garden stones as quick as possible. So the specialty, let's talk about the red uh, or the fire rat. So the fire rat um, has a skill as well that gives one and so if you can see there they're they're broken after attack so that is why i decided on episode 10 to give them um faded gear you could actually do equip them with, with with faded gear for episode 9 so that they won't be broken but the fire rat has a good s2 in which he gives increased attack to one and uh, to one hero so we're done with episode 9 so again with episode 10 Episode 10's boss, the skills are pretty much insane, especially for the passive. Okay, when own health falls below 30% from taking damage, applies recovery of 100%. So it goes down to 30%, but 
I will tell you this guys, this is our advantage because what I did here is I made sure that when I dealt damage uh, right before he reaches 30% that I take away all of his HP all at once. That was courtesy of Deva. So before, before his HP falls below 30%, you have to make sure that you, ha you have to have a big attack um, that would deal a big enough damage to have his HP go to zero so that this passive would not trigger anymore and would not regenerate his life up to 100%. So you'll see that later on how Deva killed him and how much damage Deva dealt. Okay, so if you plan to bring on the rats, please bring only fire ones and the fire one and the nature one. So because they will be the only ones helpful to you for for frost, you have battery, of course. You don't so you don't need the, the frost rats here. And also, just to make, just to, you know, uh, please be aware of his S1. So his S1 now decreases the maximum health of all enemies by 70% and also decreases the defense by 200%. So we're nearing this one already. Um, so Deva's going to deal him the final blow. So guys, um, please leave a comment your comments below and uh, please tell me what you think about the video so there you go so it didn't trigger the his passive didn't trigger anymore please ask me on other probable team comps but i think this this one is the most simplest team comp that i've ever um done for the chapters and i think this is very doable in terms of um almost all of the players out there uh, you can also try experimenting with Ulum, but you need, um, I think, Bathory. Uh, you, you will need Iris to fuel his skills with mana, or you need Shell for that one. So other team comps, I'll, t I'll try, but definitely the rats will be a mainstay in this team because you need to break random Guardian Stones for you to finish this off. Deva is also a key there. If you've seen his passive didn't trigger anymore and regen his HP 200%. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope this was very helpful to you. In times like these, always stay safe. And this is the Warden and I'm out.